am Charnay Torrance, and I am here in support of the Universal Hip Hop Parade. Um, this is probably about my fourth or fifth year attending the parade, and I can say that it is just a great event to bring unity into the community here in Brooklyn and Bed-Stuy. Um, lots of local businesses, um, nonprofit organizations, youth groups, and others march down the parade in celebration of unity and community. So I'm just happy to support and be a part of this event and looking forward to seeing it grow and expand as more and more people um, see the need to band together to unify to, for forward movement and progression in our community. So I'm just happy to be here today. Hello, my name is Tylon Eusebio Washington, and I'm from GoPro Radio Network, one of the fastest growing networks in the galaxy. I'm here on one of the most beautiful days that the summer could deliver. It's all at the Universal Hip Hop Parade. I believe it's the 19th anniversary. We're almost on two decades for the Universal Hip Hop Parade. And we're right here on the corner of Fulton Street and Marcy. I mean, it's terrific weather, great people, great energy. And I'm just so glad to be here. And I really have a real expectation for a really huge turnout this week. I mean, this, this day, this very, very special day. Um, and um, as the music is pumping, there's plenty of food. Um, I wish you were here. Take care. Kazemi, how you doing today? I'm doing great. Today is Marcus Garvey's birthday. A great time to be alive. And how many years you been doing this? We've been doing this parade many years. All right. <laughs> okay. So what gave you the idea to do this parade? Well, I love hip hop, and I'm a believer in the philosophies and opinions of Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey used to have parades, so I said, why not have a parade in Bed Stuy as a way of attracting more young adults to the philosophy philosophies and opinions of Marcus Garvey and his teachings and how we can go about implementing them in today's reality. But uh, hip-hop because it's so popular and I figured that's a way to get young adults involved. Okay, so um, what's your opinion on going farther and making it happen even more better than what it is? Although it's still great, you never had no problems all these many years. Well, we would like to make the parade better by getting more involvement. Uh, many organizations said they were going to come out and didn't come out. And then uh, we just have to be a little organized, more organized, a little tighter. But we're trying. We don't have any major corporate sponsorship. It's totally voluntary. And so uh, from that perspective, we think we do a good job. We give our time our resources, our energy on a hot summer day when we could just be having fun, but we do this for the love of the community. All of the key members of the Universal Hip Hop Parade for Social Justice, including, I'll just give a shout out to a couple of people, DJ Dr. Mike Hollywood. I'll give a shout out to Young, or better known as Zach. I'll give a shout, shout out to Tehran. I'll give a shout out to, um, uh, Pop Gaskins, the brother who's right here, interviewing me, asking me questions. One of our OGs from way back in the day, he's our chairperson emeritus uh, on our board of directors. So those are just a few of that people. Today we honored another one of our chairpersons emeritus, Michael Hooper, who will be pulling up in a vehicle as part of the parade soon. That's great. Well, um, I'm very proud of you. You might just don't know how excited I am because you and I and us make things happen in our community. Yes, yes we do. A lot of people may not understand or they may not care, but when you make something happen, that's when people want to get in, they want to get jealous, they want to take over and be in control of something that you're already doing and that you're doing. Yes. So with that, I'd like to commend you and I, uh, I never call no electrician name because I was talking to some of them about the parade, uh -huh. uh, and I've been told somebody about getting you a citation. Oh, okay. Right? So I don't know if I should put that on the air or not, but it don't matter because we are the people that they need. It's all good, Pop. I mean, I don't do it for any citations or anything like that. I just do it for the love. I was the first one on Magnolia Tree Earth Center today. And I was the last one to leave, packing up after the parade pulled out. So I got on my bike and rode over here to catch them at the front. But it's a labor of love in honor of Marcus Garvey for Bed-Stuy, for traditionally black Bed-Stuy in particular. Yes. Make Marcus Garvey proud. I thank you. Uh, it's about time, TV. 
is uh, is something that you all should watch. It's about time you do that. Peace. All right. <laughs> Big shout out to the uh, Universal Hip Hop Parade here today. Our 18th year of the Universal Hip Hop Parade. This this is year 18, right? Cass, 18, right? Uh, 19. 19 years of celebrating our culture and hip hop. Uh, remembering Marcus Garvey, and this is, uh, if you don't know who, I'm, who I am already, I'm Hip Hop Pioneer, the original Radio Raheem. You know, do the right thing? Well, there was an inspiration for that character of uh, Radio Raheem. So that's me. I want a big shout out to everybody who loves music, loves hip hop, Pop Gaskin, big shout out to him and all the work he's doing, Kazembe and everybody else. And if you want to check me out, I run the Paul Robeson Freedom School, an independent African-centered school here in Brooklyn. Paul Robeson Freedom School, you can reach me, you can find that online, go find Paul Robeson Freedom School. We're giving back to the community, it's doable. Everybody should create a freedom school wherever they are. You can, uh, once again, education for liberation is, if we don't educate our own, we can forget about it, you know? Universal Hip Hop Parade today, I want to thank everybody for showing up today, and it's nothing like our culture, our great African culture right here, right now. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lynette Battle. I'm the Deputy Director of the Bedside Gateway Business Improvement District, and we are helping to sponsor the Universal Hip Hop Parade which is about health, wealth, and community. And we encourage everyone to shop and support within the Bed-Stuy Improvement Business Improvement District. And we just welcome you to come and enjoy all the newness that is going on on Fulton Street and Nostrand Avenue. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Hello everyone, my name is Deloise Wanamaker, No Family Left Behind, and now I'm partnering up with WGE. I came out here to give y'all some information, not to bore y'all, but to give straight to it. With, um, no Family Left Behind and WGE will be doing a human trafficking awareness very soon to be announced. So I really want to thank y'all and let you know that organization of No Family Left Behind is here to incite all organizations that we can all come together in unity. We're not here to reinvent the wheel, we're just trying to get everybody to come with all the information that they have and the needs that people need so we can all come together and do this and build buildings, have land, and prosper and grow food. All your culture is the main group of No Family Left Behind because that is a capture for music and all entities that we're supposed to have to come together to break bread. So thank you very much. Growing food is very important, teaching our families, and also giving life. Thank you. I'm with Pat Gaskin also, I'm with him. Okay.
Okay. I know. Just real quick. This is a good man right here. This is this a good. You got me. This is this a good man right here. He's my godfather. He's been an activist in a in a community in a community for a very long time. He was there with the Black Panthers. He was there with Sonny Carson and everything. In honor of Black Heroes, uh, uh, um, uh, Professor uh, Professor X. He know him all. He did business with him all. I love him. I respect him. And he's still doing his thing to this very day. And I'm talking about the the legendary Ali Lamont. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I just I wanted just to wanted to say I'm with the community. I've always been with this community, and we're gonna see things too. Hey! 